George Bernard Shaw said, the biggest problem with communication is the illusion that it has taken place. How many times have you been confused because details did not get communicated to you that were essential? Many times we fail to communicate because we assume that we already did. Leaders of sports organizations are responsible for communicating well. When communication is flowing well, no one will notice a thing. When communication is happening poorly, everyone involved is frustrated, including the communicators and those who are supposed to be communicated with. Poor communication can bring down a whole organization. According to our textbook, Sport Leadership in the 21st Century, communication can define an organization. The type of communication we will be focusing on today is interorganizational communication. This is the communication that happens outside of the boundary of the sports organization. Even more specifically, I will be giving you practical solutions to improve the communication within a youth sports organization or a school. The first step to improving the communication within a youth sports organization or a school is to streamline the communication in the community at large so they all know where to find information about the athletics program in general. So at my school, uh, when I first started working with the athletics program, I discovered that each sport and sometimes within a sport, each coach had their own way of communicating with their athletes or parents. Some coaches would just verbally tell athletes when games were, um, and then they were expected to go home and tell their parents. Uh, some used a printed out calendar, which of course changes over the course of a season. Um, some would use GroupMe, some would use email, some would use TMAP. So what I did was when I came in, the first thing I did was say, we all need to communicate with using the same method. So now our community at our school knows where to find all of the athletic information because we all use the app called TMAP. And we use that for every sport and every team. Here is an example of what TMAP looks like on a phone. You can also use it on a computer, which I highly recommend as the information giver. As an information receiver, I recommend using this app on the phone. As you can see, each sport and in some cases, each level of sport has its own team app. The athletes and the parents join the teams that are relevant to them. Once they are inside their app, they can click game schedule, practice schedule, coaches or athletics can make announcements. They have a chat function. They can post pictures in there um, and there, there's more features as well. Um, that's mostly what we use at my school. You don't have to use TMAP though. There are many good apps to choose from. The next slide will show you one more example of a great app for interorganizational communication. Game Changer is an example of an app that began in 2009 and is now used for all NFHS baseball and softball teams. There's an article about this in Communication and Sport. 
Step two to improving inter-organizational communication within youth sports organizations or schools is to make sure everyone is responding to all communications, whether it's intra-organizational or inter-organizational um, within 24 hours. When I first got involved with athletics, I had another athletic director tell me, don't respond right away or people will come to expect it. I have a different philosophy though. If you typically respond quickly, then it's more forgivable and understandable when you can't. This cuts down on so much frustration. Step three to improving communication will be stick to the plan. Become reliable by doing what you say you're going to do. For example, once you've announced practice times to the community, don't change them and don't cancel them. Every time you make a change, there is a risk of miscommunication. According to an article in Communication and Sport, talent searches for athletes has gotten more competitive over recent years and is reaching younger ages in youth sports organizations and schools. It's never been more important to have good communication regarding your youth sports organization. Hopefully these simple steps will help you in doing this. Thank you.